right, so let's take a look at uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation Battle Cat uh, from uh, Masterverse, uh, Mattel's Multiverse of the Masters of the Universe. So all kicks off with uh, the Revelation line, and this is the Battle Cat that uh, came with that line and you can see battle cat displayed looks like battle cat just comes with battle cat and that is it no accessories no extra stuff of course besides saddle and helmet on battle cat but no other accessories or anything like that included in the package 30 points of articulation allegedly uh, detail sculpt articulation uh, deluxe this is one of the deluxe figures um there are a handful of deluxe figures aside from the uh, the regular series that we've seen before um and we're gonna take a look at this one but before we get it out of the box Let's take a look and see what the back of the box holds in store for us here. We turn it around and we see He-Man uh, atop Battle Cat uh, in front of Castle Skull. Wondering if we'll get a Castle Skull in the Masterverse line. Um, at least a Masterverse version of it. We don't necessarily need a Revelation one, but a Masterverse Castle Skull would not be the worst thing in the world. That'd be pretty cool. And we see Battle Cat. Fighting Tiger, the cowardly green and yellow talking tiger cringer, wishes for nothing more than to peacefully relax by Prince Adam's side. But when Adam raises his power sword and summons the power of Grayskull, Cringer sheds his whimpering nature and transforms into the mighty battle cat, ferocious fighting steed and loyal best friend of the mighty He-Man. Um, so when we see remove mask for Cringer, um, obviously, he won't have a mask on when you remove it, and I guess that's what he looks like on the show. I wouldn't know. Again, very nice looking art on the back. We do have a cross cell with Skelegod, He-Man, Mossman, Skeletor, and Evil Lin. Of course, Skelegod, the other deluxe figure from this first series here. Um, so let's get this thing outside of the box and see what it looks like. All right, so here he is outside of the box. It's Battle Cat um, with his armor, uh, helmet, uh, saddle, all that good stuff. Um, pretty cool uh, so far. Looks looks good. Poses better than the Origins figure, and certainly poses better than the Vintage figure. <laughs> That's for sure, since the Vintage figure was static. Um, very, very cool looking paint apps, just like on all these other Masterverse figures. Um, not so much going on though, as far as paint applications are concerned. We got a little bit on the saddle, got the eyes uh, shining through on the uh, on the helmet here. We can pop this helmet off, and uh, we have a very nice looking sculpt on uh, on Cringer's head here. Um, very, very cool. Not super fan of the cowardly Cringer character. Um, like, oh no, I'm scared. Um, that that sort of, I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's cool for a goofy cartoon or some shit. Um, but for for me, honestly, you give me that the one from the CG show where he's like, there's there's a reason they call him Cringer, and it's not because he's a coward. Um, <laughs> like, honestly. A much better character in the in the kids CG show, but re regardless of that, we're not talking about st stupid TV shows. We're talking about this figure, um, and this figure has a very very nice sculpt. Um, he's got some. Like, what do they do with his feet? What does he have like thumbs? Where's his like? The, he has extra. I guess he has extra toes, extra claws in the front here. Um, as. A, a cat doesn't have like a hand, they have a paw and their dew claw, their thumb would be back here, I would think, I thought, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But that's, um, <laughs> this is what he looks like. You can take this off pretty easily. And as we take it off here, we can see a uh, Cringer in full effect. Very nice looking paint jobs, tiger stripes on here. Um, very, very cool looking. Um, poses pretty well you can get all kinds of cool like 
poses on him uh, much better than you can with that Origins figure. I was actually disappointed with the posability on the Origins figure. Um, this one, on the other hand, much, much nicer. You can have him uh, standing up and roaring and uh, or, or doing getting down in a stance. Um, very, very cool. I'll be very excited to, and of course, uh, rah, rah, you can open the mouth, uh, close the mouth, all that stuff. Let's back it up about here. Uh, yeah, get the, get the mouth opening and closing. You get the, all the great looking, like, look at the different pieces here that, that give it all this great posability. So, a very nice, very nice figure here for Battle Cat. Not just a static vehicle or, or, or whatever you want to call it. Um, a very, very cool looking figure. And uh, let's get He-Man out and, and see what he looks like atop Battle Cat. All right, so here we have He-Man atop Battle Cat, sword and shield in hand. Very, very cool. Honestly, um, looks great. It's a great display piece here. Um, you can get all kinds of great poses. Like I said before, you've even got, just like on the classic one, you have the little horn there so He-Man can be like, oh, look at my dick. And, and it's, it all works out very, very well. Very, very cool figure. I'm glad it's in my collection. Revelations Masterverse Battle Cat.